So Cricut is going to roll out a big update that's going to change your life and the way you use Design Space. We're going to cover all the details that you need today, all the changes that are happening, and all the great things you'll be able to do in Design Space too. Hi there, welcome to Daily Dose of DIY. My name is Chris and I have a gift for you that goes along with this update. I made some cheat sheets. It's kind of a lot, y'all. Now, I don't want you to be intimidated. The update is kind of a lot. So we're going to go through everything step by step, but also head to the description and get the link to download these cheat sheets so that you can print them off and keep them by your side. They are totally free for you. Just follow the link in the description and then there's a video at top that you might wanna watch that shows you all about my SVG and free printable library. Just enter in your first name and email address and then click get my free SVGs. I will email you the link to the library right away. Once you are in the library, you'll find these new cheat sheets under You'll find the cheat sheets under cheat sheets and instructions. There's a couple other things there. Just scroll down. You'll see the design space update with the new combined menu. Click here to download. As soon as you click, it will begin the download and open it up. So be sure to grab that so that we don't get overwhelmed. Now this update is in beta mode, which means you can go there right now and start playing around and following along with me. There is no date yet as to when Cricut is going to roll out to these updates, but it will be in the future soon. Once you're in beta mode, you can easily switch back and forth. So if you don't quite like it or it's a little too glitchy for you, you can easily switch back to live mode. However, once Cricut rolls out to this update, then it, it will essentially be forced on you. There'll be no switching back to the old. So I do recommend you go in and start playing around with it, grab these cheat sheets and learn how to use these new functions. You are going to be amazed. There's going so many cool things we can do now that will make your life easier. It can seem overwhelming at first because there are a few changes. That's why I made these cheat sheets for you. But once you get the hang of it, no problem you're gonna love it and all the new cool new things we can do. We're gonna take a look at all of them one by one. So the first thing you want to do is to switch to that beta mode. You do that by clicking on these three little lines on the top left and then we're going to go down to settings. Click on there and you'll see under general the application experience we can click on beta and then click done. This will reboot design space and when it reopens, it will have us in the new beta mode. Okay, so this is the new de design space, y'all. It does look a little bit different, but don't worry, I'll walk you through everything. To switch back to the live, current live version of design space, if you don't wanna play in beta, you simply follow the same steps, click those three lines, go back to settings, click live, and then click done. And again, Design Space will reboot you and take you back to the current live version they have. I'm just going to bring in an SVG here so we can start playing around and I can show you the differences. So first on the top menu, you'll notice we are missing some buttons and that is because Cricut made a smart group ungroup button. And that is this first one right here. So when I hover over it, you can see it changes to ungroup and then you click it and it will ungroup the objects you have selected. Now, if you wanted to group something, if I come back and I select two objects, this button changes to group. So I click it again and now these are grouped. Another thing you'll notice is the actual layers panel, panel looks a little bit naked. We used to have um, words here that would tell us if it was going to cut, if it was going to score, if it was going to draw with a pen, and those are all gone. However, you can still see them over here on the top menu under operations. So that is set to basic cut, and if I wanted to change it to score, we can easily do that. It would change this to score. 
It's not going to show you that in the layers menu anymore though. So you will look at the top to see and change the functions. Another thing you will notice over in the layers panel is the little eyeball. It only shows up when you are on that layer. And of course, clicking the eyeball hides it from the canvas. So you can see our pumpkin patch disappeared. So you can still do that function, but you will have to hover over the layer that you want to hide or show again to get the eyeball to show up. Another super cool thing in the layers panel is you can change the names of the layers. So for example, right here where it says farm fresh and it is showing me it's yellow and it actually says pumpkin patch, you can either double click and bring up the menu or let me click off of there, or you can right click and click rename. So now we can rename that to say pumpkin patch because that's what it actually says. And you can even leave yourself notes, like if you want to cut glitter, so you can rename, it would help if I could spell pumpkin. <laughs> you can rename each layer and leave yourself notes there. So that is a very cool change. Now let's head down to the bottom of the layers menu. You will notice slice is still available, attach, flatten, and contour are still there. They did not change. We also have something new here called the combine menu. Now these are all grayed out because I only have one object selected, but once I select two or more objects, they become available to use. And once you click on the combine menu, you'll see weld is still up here as well. So all the controls are still there that you are used to seeing and you can continue to use them. But I really think you're going to love some of these new controls and we're going to go through them one by one. The first one we're going to talk about is Unite. So when you click on the Unite button, it works much like Weld does. It will unite these two objects into one cut and it will all change to one color. There it goes. Remember, this is a beta version, which means it's still in testing, but expect to encounter a few glitches. I've played around with it a lot and I haven't noticed too many. Now, how Unite is different from Weld is I can come over here on the Layers panel and select one of those hearts. You'll notice it shows both of them under there. And do you see it brought the square around this heart? So even though we're united, I can make this heart bigger and then it goes right back to Unite. I can also double click it on the canvas and you can resize from there or it will go back to being united again. You can also rotate and change anything you want from sizing and position. And as soon as you click off of it, it will go back to being united in that one continuous shape. Another difference is you can also undo your unite. So you can select combine again, and then the undo unite option is available, which as you may know, there's never been an unweld option. So lots of cool things you can do with changing things each layer individually, even after it's united, and you can even undo it if, you're, if you want to make bigger changes. So the next thing we are going to look at is subtract. I got this pumpkin out of Cricut Access and these shapes from the shapes menu. I have all the shapes a different color to show you. They are in fact different layers and you can see over on the layers menu, I have different layers. So subtract is going to work a lot like slice, only a whole lot better because we can select everything here. I don't want the stem, so let me try that again. And come down to combine and click subtract. And that is going to remove the, all these layers, all three pieces from the pumpkin, much like slice would. But once it happens, you will see everything is removed. We don't have any extra parts we have to move out of our way and delete. So this is great and it's going to be a huge timer saver. One thing you want to note is if you do need those top layers, say you wanted to keep the triangles or whatever was on your top layer, you're going to need to duplicate those first 
because they will disappear also. So another good thing and much like Unite is we can make changes from here. This isn't permanent. So you can either go to the layers menu and select the crescent and then we can, let's see, I'll have to come to the top here and click the unlock button so that I can stretch it out. You can make changes and as soon as you let go and click back on the canvas, it will make that change. There's no reason to reselect and reslice everything or subtract now. I'm, just, I'm still might be stuck on the word slice for a while. And same, you can also double click right on the canvas and that will also allow you to move it around. Now each move, it reattaches. So you might have to click a couple of times to get things positioned. Click back off the canvas and then you're done. Much like, also like Unite, you can click on the combine menu again and undo subtract at any time if you want to make bigger changes. Next, let's take a look at Intersect and I really think you're going to love this one. Intersect will allow you to combine two overlapping parts into one. So I let's let's just take a look at this in action. I got to this plaid pattern out of um, Cricut Access as well. And I'm going to put it over the pumpkin and then we're going to select, oh, he's still moving, leave him there. We're going to select both the plaid and the pumpkin, go to our combine menu and click intersect. As you can see, our plaid took the shape of the pumpkin. Isn't that super cool? And again, if you want to make changes, you either come over to the layers panel, panel and select from there or you double click right on the canvas. So if I want to make this plaid pattern a little bit more tight, I can reduce the size and then it will automatically go back into the intersect where the plaid takes on the shape of the pumpkin. You can keep adjusting all this stuff to your heart's content until you're happy with it without having to undo and redo all of the steps. And like the others, you can come down to combine and click undo intersect at any time in your designing process and it will undo it and you can move on. Okay, now we're going to take a look at exclude and exclude is the exact opposite of intersect. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the top layer out of the bottom layer and leave the sides. This is a super cool effect when you're using text. So if we select everything to make the combined menu show up, and then click on exclude, we will see the letters inside the pumpkin disappear, but it leaves the outer edges. Isn't that cool? That's, these are fun designs to put on shirts. And again, if you wanna make any changes, just double click right on the canvas or select it off the layers menu, resize how you want. And as soon as you let go, it snaps right back into place. And the same with the others. If you want to undo this, just go back to the menu and click undo exclude. Okay, next we're going to talk about merge layers. I told you this was a lot y'all grab my cheat sheets. I've actually been using them to do this video because it's a lot to learn at once. So don't be overwhelmed and intimidated. You can do this. Just grab my little helpers and we'll be fine. It's all fine. Okay, merge layers is like weld once it's done it cannot be undone there's one difference i found though i have these two objects here i haven't done anything with them they're, they're two individual layers if i select both of them and go to the combine menu you will see we don't even have the option to merge layers however we can weld them merge layers will show up on after you have done one of the other new functions. So after you've united, excluded, subtracted, intersected, anything like that, you can go to the combined menu and you will see merge layers. However, like I said, it's like weld because now that it's merged, I can't click over here. I can't, you don't see those extra pieces under there anymore that we can make any changes. 
that's it that's finished you don't want to make any changes when you merge after you've merged layers so make sure you're hundred percent certain that that's what you want you do not need to merge layers in order to cut um, but it might be handy if you share your files in design space or with other people and then you know that once you share them, they will not be able to change this anymore. That is an example of when you'll want to use merge layers. There's just one more feature I want to show you with this new update and then we'll wrap it up and I will give you my thoughts. And that also has something to do with the layers panel. So I'm going to select my two hearts and I'm going to attach them, which is something that we could do before, right? So you can also take anything over in your layers panel and drag it on up and drop it. And that will attach it. So now that circle is attached to my hearts. It will attach it to that grouping. You cannot reverse that. Like I cannot grab the circle and take him on out. It won't let me do that. So if you need it detached, you will have to go here. However, you can still click on it and get access to just that circle and move it around or resize it if you need to. And then like before, it goes right back to attached to that group. Now you can also, if you have an attached group, grab another element from the canvas and drop it in. It is supposed to, Cricut says, do the same thing, automatically attach it to that group. As you can see, it's not working for me here and now. Like I said, this is a beta version of Design Space. It will roll out. Cricut has not given us a date, but it will eventually start rolling out and you will use this version in the near future. So the beta version, there are glitches to be expected and things for them to iron out before they force it live. You can go back, as I told you, click those three lines, go to settings, click live. You can flip back and forth at any time until they make this update live. So my final thoughts on this update, I love the new functions and I do not have insider information on Cricut's future plans, but I can see weld and attach and slice and those tools going away soon because the new tools does everything that they did and more. So the sooner you can start playing around with this and getting used to the new controls, the better for your crafting sanity. I'm also super hopeful as Cricut keeps making steps to make the design software better that we will see pen tools and the ability to draw and more fun things like that. Of course, I will be with you every step of the way, giving you all of the updates, and you can grab these free cheat sheets. The link is in the description to help you through this update and through many more. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. I guess we didn't really craft, but thank you for learning Design Space's new updates. I'd like and subscribe for more fun tutorials and crafts.